Welcome to uh, STC. Ho, ho, ho. It's uh, that time of year again. Um, by that time of year, I mean the holiday season. And that means scams and uh, cyber attackers looking to get your presence. So this week, we've also seen the launch of iOS 15.2. Big launch for Apple's updated iOS 15 operating system. Some really cool features have come out, as well as some important security updates. I mean, it's, it's, there are some privacy stuff, which I know you, you've talked about before, Kate, but obviously there's also the, the first controversial, um, you know, photo scanning thing has come through with iMessage, which is this child safety thing, which is out. We wait to see the response to that. Um, so it's, it, it's an interesting update that Apple's made at, at this time of year. I think it's interesting that there's um, so many security um, fixes in this update as well, including stuff that fixes the uh, jailbreak stuff from the Tianfu Cup that I mentioned some weeks ago now, months ago now. Um, and security should be on all our minds at the moment because it is holiday season. Yeah, there's a lot going on, isn't there? I mean, the risks posed go anything from scams that people can fall for, which could be over email, could be over text message, uh, which they call smishing. Or, you know, if you're a company, you're at risk of ransomware, aren't you? There's a lot of things attackers can take advantage of. Well, let's, let's start with the ransomware threat, because I think that's um, very pertinent at the minute. Um, ransomware attack groups love holidays um, because it means there's less staff in an organisation. It's harder to do a quick incident response. So that's the perfect time to attack. And that perfect time's got even better currently because of something called log for shell exploit. Go Google it. It's too complex for us to, to um, explain here. But that means it gives ransomware attackers another route onto networks that they are going to be looking to exploit currently. I think for most of the people watching this, um, this is just common sense central. You know, 99.99% of the issues you may face, you can avoid by just common sense, particularly this time of year, for two reasons. One, everybody knows they can send you, you know, coupons and gifts and emails and links, and you are susceptible to, you know, holiday season stuff, COVID stuff, there's a whole raft of things, but also because when you unwrap those shiny new devices on Christmas Day, if that's what you're doing on Christmas Day, then they'll all be shipping with default passwords currently, um, and you'll be banging them onto your home network and hoping for the best. Don't do that, change those passwords, update that firmware. Yeah, it's really important, isn't it? It's if you get a new device at Christmas time, make sure that you're updating everything, make sure you have the latest version of the operating system on. And actually, if you're getting a, a phone, for example, it's a good idea to go on and enable some of the privacy features, isn't it? So, you know, there's a number from Apple, I would recommend app tracking transparency, uh, which we've talked about before, please look up our previous videos, and we've got explainers on that. Um, as one of the best ones uh, when you're being tracked online, which is obviously something that's happening all of the time to all of us, um, including if you're on Facebook and even if you're deactivated on Facebook. Yeah, um, I'm going to throw things towards the UK at the minute um, with a couple of UK threats that you need to look out for. Um, but these will be coming to the US and other parts of the world as well. So um, it's for everybody. Um, we've got the Omicron um, COVID variant being used already by scammers with emails and messages about booking booster jabs being a favourite in the UK right at the moment. Um, and so I would advise um, viewers to remember that the NHS will never ask for your bank details or payment for a booster. And that's what the scammers are doing. And also, um, we've got tax season coming up, tax return season, um, just after Christmas. Um, so be aware that HMRC will always write to you, snail mail, about rebates, payments, returns. They will never phone, text, or send a WhatsApp message. They will, they will email and tell you to log on to your account, though. So if you get an email yeah. to log on, that's legit, but you will have to log on. Yeah. And if you get an email from HMRC or anyone else, best advice is log in the normal way, type the URL in, it should be recognized by your browser. Don't click the link in the email, however legitimate that email looks. And that, that goes as well for um, another common scam that we all see all year round, but particularly now, 
um, from, in fact, from Black Friday onwards through to the uh, New Year sales, this is going to continue, which is the misdelivery um, notification scams, which come through all sorts of mediums. Um, but don't click through. Um, never pay over the phone um, immediately if they phone up and say you owe us this. Um, always check your details through the official website or use the tracking that you've been given um, when you, from the, the, the vendor that you've put, purchased the item from um, or use a number that you've sourced yourself. Yeah, those delivery ones are a real killer, aren't they? I get loads of those all the time. And because I get so many deliveries these days, I mean, a lot of us do with COVID and, yep. and not going out to the shop so much. They are quite convincing. I do have to double check them myself. And this is as someone who's I'm very, very suspicious. So it's very, very important not to click the link, even if it is genuine. Just go to the website. It'll take you two seconds more and then you're more secure especially at this time of year, of course, because you're getting deliveries from people that you weren't expecting deliveries from. This yeah. isn't just about stuff that you've ordered yourself. This is about people sending you gifts. So it's, again, it is the perfect time of the year for the scams. So it's kind of last SDC of the year, I guess, thematically, um, your privacy has never been easier to protect between, you know, everyone's now got 2FA, there are privacy settings or whatever, phone or device operating system you're using people are much more um focused on that now but at the same time it's never been more under threat if you don't take advantage of all those things so the onus on users now to actually do something about it to not assume that uh, unwrap switch on and use is safe anymore i guess that that's that's the theme of the year right yeah, and I think that links very closely to the big tech companies and people becoming much more aware of what the big tech companies are doing to possibly invade our privacy. Data is so valuable to them. It always has been, especially the ones that are funded by advertising. And that really is becoming more clear. So, you know, these individual companies, there are ways to stop them tracking us, aren't there? So on Google, for example, you could try not to use Google services as many as possible. Obviously, search, you need to use it. It's the best one there is. On Facebook, definitely delete your account if you are going to get rid of it. Don't deactivate it first, right? Yeah, that's right. Because if you do activate it, Facebook kind of goes, oh, interesting, and continues to track you. So if you want to stop being tracked, you need to delete your account and, and say goodbye to all those photos of puppies and stuff. So I guess we couldn't leave without saying that, you know, you are you are the most Father Christmassy looking of all of us, Davy. So maybe... <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Maybe the, uh, the, we should leave the season's greetings to, uh, to you before we, we close for the year. Yeah, well, look... I'll uh, go back to um, Hill Street Blues and just say, let's be careful out there, everybody. <laughs> um, it is a, a, a time for celebration, but it's also a time not to let that celebration go to your head. Um, still follow your own basic rules for um, keeping yourself, your privacy to yourself, um, keeping safe, keeping secure. And we'll see you on the other side. Happy Christmas. Happy whatever you celebrate. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm.